Hello everybody, I'm the Xanthar Gamer, also known as Frank, and today I am continuing my uh, playthrough of Doom Eternal. When we last left off, we had just gone to Sentinel Prime, and now we're going to go and explore it, I guess. <laughs> scene or does it just yeah it kicks off right at the hmm What's going on? We found him in the valley, just outside the castle walls. Yeah. He was badly wounded and wearing this. Hey, that's my helmet. Pretty cool, isn't it? Guts. Huge guts. Kill them. Must kill them all. He has fight in him yet. In spite of his injuries. Send him to the arena. Let him be judged like the others. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, this isn't going to be a real intense episode. This is more lore than anything. Not that it's bad. I mean, it's still really beautifully set up, and it's actually really nice that they I consider... offer you a great power for one a sign of truce That's a hot load of dog wash if I've ever heard one. Prosperity is one thing, but you're killing an entire race just to keep yours alive. And... 
I just don't, I don't agree with that. You are wrong, so I'm going to stop you. Let's see here. Uh, I'm missing something. Yeah, like I said, this isn't going to be a real combat heavy episode. It's just going to be... It's just going to be... Gameplay, or platforming and uh, plot. Lots of plot. Which I really really feel like it was unfair some of the reviews that I looked in or looked at the uh, reviews for this game. And they said that a lot of the plot was just thrown out their way to I can now stand like, by and watch as you put our future at risk. Earth will be consumed. And the energy will continue to flow. It is your people to survive against mine. Yeah, but according to, you know, everything I've noticed about your particular race, you earn what happens to you. This would be perfect as a secret in the Hello, buttheads. Make a fine addition to the front line, stranger. The demons! They are everywhere. Must kill them all! Dress his wounds and bring him to us. I want to know more about the others he speaks of. Yes, your grace. <laughs> if Sentinel Holy Blood is spilled on these grounds, you will lose all sovereignty here.
Earth will be consumed, regardless of what... The portal is ready. We should leave immediately. That was interesting. And easy. I wasn't expecting it to only take 15 minutes, but then again, it was mostly just plot stuff. Not that that's a bad thing, just saying. I actually like the plot. I think that's where I left off at before the boss fight. Um, I actually really like the story that they came up with in this because it can it can really start to blend the ideas from Doom 2016 and make it like the con maker has overloaded your systems. Vega has no control over. If you had let the culling continue, the human race you fight to protect would have survived. Now I will resurrect the Icon of Sin. He will devour Earth and leave your whole world in ruins. Life on your planet shall never return. And this will be yet another world you brought to extinction. This stronghold will now serve as your prison. With no power, you can do no more harm to our mission, and we may continue the work that must be done. Huh. Huh. 
Yeah, I wonder... Why would anyone think that that would actually work? Just a bunch of lower class demons. If you're going to send something after me, you're going to send your best. Okay, I think I've uh, successfully confused myself. Of course. She didn't know you had the demonic crucible. <laughs> In the end, the very power source you've sought to eradicate from Earth is now what will help you save it. The mission on Sentinel Prime was Sonic a success. Evil there, the demonic Doctor. consumption of Earth has been stopped. Only a Slayer's Crucible Blade can stop a Titan. You must get to the Sentinel City of Taras Nabad to retrieve your Crucible before it is too late. Without it, the Titan cannot be stopped. Setting the portal to Taras Nabob. <laughs> All right, as you. This is the Resistance Network, broadcasting live from inside the Arctic safe zone. There was a Slayer sighting on Phobos. Eyewitness reports say that he was spotted inside a command center and then proceeded to fight his way through the mortally challenged and onto the deck of the BFG 10K. This can't be confirmed. But many believe it was the Slayer himself who destroyed Mars in an attempt to stop the Challenged from further advancing their position on Earth. We will post more information as it comes in. This is an ARC broadcast. Hmm. Cool. Alright, so anyways, I'm going to go ahead and leave it off here. If you guys enjoyed it, remember to uh, like and subscribe. And down in the comments... Uh... Tell me what you think of the con maker. Like, her design and everything about it. I think she's pretty cool looking. But, uh, definitely use with a bit of a better attitude. Because she is unforgivably evil. But anyways, I will leave this off here. See you in the next one. Bye.